or support channel on Patreon. Click on the Quora questions I post from time to time. And up until next video, have a German day. <laughs> Love you guys. Ciao. No, we German boys say Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>
of the cosine of t over 1 plus the cosine squared of t integrated with respect to t. And here my mind went, that's pretty fucking dope. Okay, so you see, that's absolutely ingenious on my part right here. At least I do think so. If we could recover our original integral, let's give this thing right here a name. This is nothing but i, okay, that's the integral i. Meaning, if we could recover this integral on this side, we could add this negative part to it and would have a multiple of this thing right here of i, okay? That was my idea here. So, all that's really missing for us to get the same integral basically is to get to 2 pi as the upper bound. If this integral exists, it does, it converges, it's nice and cool, it's pretty fucking dope right here. We can actually add a new integral to it and subtract it run once again. Because this thing here is a constant, this is just an apple, and if you don't place any other apple to it, you still have the apple you had initially. Meaning we can add a zero to this thing right here. But what is a zero? Well, it's nothing but <laughs> negative two times this integral from pi to two pi, okay, plus two times this integral from pi to two pi. Okay, um, don't ask me how I got the idea. It just worked wonders. So <laughs> bear with me here. So meaning that thing is equivalent to saying we have negative two times Okay, um, this right here is i. Okay, i is nothing but negative 2 times the integral from 0 to pi of the cosine of t over 1 plus the cosine squared of t integrate with respect to t. Then we are going to subtract once again negative 2 because we have to have this common, uh, this, this common factor right here that we can factor it out and bring the integrals together. That's the only reason why we have this 2 right here. Integral from pi to 2 pi of the cosine of t over 1 plus the cosine squared of t integrated with respect to t. And then we ha have to get rid of this factor once again because we just want to add a zero basically. So we have to add this whole thing to it once again. So plus 2 times the integral from pi to 2 pi of the cosine of t over 1 plus cosine squared of t integrated with respect to t. If we add those two integrals together, so we have the same integral, that's nice. So we have the same common factor, meaning we are just going to end up with negative two times the integral from zero to two pi, which is nothing but negative two times our i. So that's equivalent to saying i is nothing but negative two times i plus this integral, plus two times the integral from pi to two pi of the cosine of t over one plus the cosine squared of t integrated with respect to t. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Um, now we can add 2 times i on both sides to get to the point where we have 3 times i is nothing but 2 times this chunk, okay? two times some integral. And here's the point where everything goes nice and berserk. We are going to introduce yet another substitution. I would like to get back to a symmetric integral. How can we get back to a symmetric integral? Well, if we would just introduce a substitution where we would subtract negative three pi over two from that, okay? It does make sense in a second. Because I want to get to a sine wave, be because a sine wave is odd and if we would have an odd function over a symmetric integral would just vanish. So um, it's just simple first world logic, my boys. So um, we are going to introduce a new substitution. So let, for example, tau. Yeah, uh, this is not two times pi, it's just tau, never mind. So let tau be equal to, um, what did I say? t minus three pi over two, okay? Does make perfect sense if you differentiate that then d tau is nothing but dt. Just don't ask me how I got the idea to do this. I don't know. Um, okay, if we plug pi into here, this is going to give us, this is two pi over two. So this is going to give us negative pi over two, okay? 
And up here, we are going to get, if we plug two pi into here, that's four pi over two, giving us pi over two. Okay, symmetric integral. That's probably the only way to arrive at a symmetric integral. Maybe you can also use, um, if you would use just pi over two, would that, no, no, it wouldn't be any good. But like five pi over two, I don't know. Never mind, this does work out. It did what it should do. So we are going to get um, then the cosine of, this is going to give us tau plus three pi over two over one plus the cosine squared of tau plus three pi over two integrated with respect to tau, okay? Those are just side notes. If we take a look at this thing right here graphically once again, okay? This right here is our initial cosine wave. If we shift this cosine wave, okay, now we have to shift it three pi over two units to the left. Okay, yeah, to the left. Meaning this is pi over two. This is going to give us um, pi, and then we are going to get three pi over two. Meaning we are going to get this thing right here, okay? which is nothing but a sine wave. Meaning this thing right here is actually the sine of tau. So this is two times integral from negative pi over two to pi over two of the sine of tau over, okay, this is just one plus the sine squared of tau integrated with respect to tau. And et voila, my sons and daughters, we are actually done. Because, well, if you plug negative tau into here, you see, sine of negative tau is negative sine of tau. So this is going to give us negative disintegrant overall, meaning we are integrating an odd function over a symmetric integral. <laughs> this piece of shit is nothing but zero. What can we conclude after this uh, crazy journey? So free i is nothing but zero. If you trust the piano axioms and you can accept that free is nothing but the successor of the successor of the successor of zero, Meaning it's the successor of two, it's the successor of the successor of one. Okay, I hope you can follow me here. What I want to get at <laughs> is that three is not equal to zero. Meaning the only way for this to be right is that our original integral i is equal to zero. Okay. That's just an implication. I want to go for implications because it's all we really need. Et voilà, my boys and daughters. Um, my, my boys and girls, my sons and daughters, my uh, Gucci's and good jeans. Uh, we are done. I hope you did enjoy this video. That's, that's actually quite a cool integral. Uh, you can probably do it in a different way, but I just like to do it the flammy way right here. Um, and you probably have never seen a way like this properly before. So here we go. <laughs> Love you guys, appreciate you. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those Euleroid t-shirts, they are pretty fucking dope. Or support the channel on Patreon, click on the Quora questions I post from time to time. And up until the next video, have a German day. <laughs> Love you guys, ciao. No, we German boys say Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Good morning, fellow mathematicians. So I just came out of the shower because, yeah, um, I have to shower sometimes. You can see it um, by my nut made hair right here. So um, it's one day before actually uploading the video and two days after I recorded the video on Peter Lux Integral. And I just got a quick idea while being in the shower. So my original approach in itself was pretty quite cool, but you can do better. So you can basically split up the original integral into one from zero to pi and then from pi to two pi. And on the first integral, you can basically introduce the substitution, let t be equal to x minus pi over two. It's going to give you this odd integrand of a symmetric integral, so that works out. And on the second integral, you can introduce this other substitution that we did before. So from uh, this x minus three pi over two and you are going to get rid of both this odd integrands over the symmetric integral and, and then you are basically done. So that's an easier way, just uh, letting you know that I came up with a different approach. Um, I thank guys for watching. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Hello.